Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an algebraic problem which is a radical equation with cube roots. Awesome. And we do have the cube on the right hand side so that's going to be an interesting solution. At this point if you want you can go ahead and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Now, what is the significance of this problem? Well first of all if you want to eliminate the cube root you have to cube both sides, that's going to give you x to the ninth power. Who would like to solve a ninth degree equation? Unless it's very special. Okay, well, we don't even have a formula for the quintic, right? So, nonic, is that what it is? Okay, the ninth degree would be crazy. Anyways, we're going to use a very nice method for this problem. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, now... The left-hand side of this equation is the cube root of something. And the right-hand side is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 32. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the right-hand side into the cube of something. Does that make sense? Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to write it as x cubed minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 8. If you're familiar with binomial theorem and the perfect cubes, then you will know that this is equal to x minus 2 quantity cubed, but I just got to adjust with a minus 24. Okay? Awesome. Now, this is going to give me something a little nicer, but that's not it. Okay. So, make sure to watch till the end to see what's going on. So, this is going to be x minus 2 cubed minus 24. Cool. Now, notice that we do have a 22 on the left-hand side and a 24 and a 2 on the right-hand side. So, what does that mean? Well, 24 minus 2 is equal to 22. So that should give me something nice, but I still have to work on this, okay? All right, let's go ahead and do that. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I know that 22 is the difference of 24 and 2, I'm going to manipulate my equation a little bit more like this. I'm going to break down the 24 into two pieces. And then... I'm just going to take this negative 2 because I don't want to have it on the right-hand side. It's better on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you do it, you're going to hopefully notice something interesting. What is that thing? Well, I do have a 22 here that's a positive. I do have a 2 here that's a positive. I do have a 2 on the right-hand side that's a negative, And I do have a negative 22. And on top of that, we have a cube and a cube root. So what does this tell you? Well, this tells you, or it should tell you, that these are inverse functions. Awesome. Which means they're equal. What is that supposed to mean? Okay. So, f is equal to f inverse. When is that happening? Well, remember that a function and its inverse are symmetrical with respect to y equals x. So, if they coincide, what is that supposed to mean? It means that they're on the y equals x, which means y equals x. Okay, so then what is y though? Well, here's my substitution. Let's set this equal to y and see what happens. So I'm saying that y is equal to that. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, if you isolate the cube root here, so let's go ahead and do that. Cube root of x plus 22 and subtract 2 from both sides. That's going to give you this. And then if you cube both sides, you're going to be getting something interesting. Let's take a look. Well, not interesting yet because I still need to isolate my x. Let's go ahead and do that. So from here, I'm going to be getting x equals y minus 2 cubed minus 22. Awesome. Now I do have this and I do have this. What am I going to do with that? Well, let's go ahead and write those together. Didn't I already tell you that y equals x? At this point, you can just stop and replace y with x and proceed. But let's see why that's happening, right? Okay, let's dig deeper. So we have this system of equations. So that's kind of like a non-standard method. We had an equation in a single variable. We now turn it into a system of equations. Let's, let's see. Okay, I'm going to subtract these two equations side by side. And you'll see why in a little bit. Well, negative, two is, negative 22 is going to cancel out. And on the right-hand side, we're going to be getting difference of two cubes. So if you just go ahead and sub, um, factor it, well, we're going to subtract it anyways, right? 
using difference of two cubes, then using the formula, you're, you're going to be getting some interesting terms like the product here, AB, A squared plus AB plus B squared. So it's going to end with this. Well, if you remember from a previous video or in algebra in general, this expression can never be negative. And it can't be zero either because it's always positive. So this expression is always positive, which means that it can never equal zero. What is that supposed to mean? Well, it means that when you're trying to solve this equation, it, that's non-zero, so this has to be zero. And when is that zero? When y equals x or x equals y. To keep a long story short, y equals x from here. Okay? So now I have a y in the second equation. If I go ahead and replace that y with x, then I get my equation back, but in a much nicer way. We don't have any cube roots, so it's much better. Now, you might be thinking, like, how am I going to solve it? Well, it's easy to find integer solutions. So, for example, just guessing, right? Of course, yeah. Well, if x equals 5, then you're going to be getting 3 cubed minus 22 is equal to 5. 27 minus 22 is equal to 5, and that's true. So x equals 5 is a solution, and that's actually the only real solution because we don't get anything else. Now, would it satisfy the original problem? Of course, because that's a cube root. It's not even a square root. So that's it. But if you go back and plug it into the original problem, you will definitely see that it works. Let's go ahead and do that. If x equals 5, the cube root of 5 plus 22 is 3. And on the right-hand side, 5 cubed, you'll get 125. Let's go ahead and do it here. Minus 6 times 25 is 150. Plus 12 times 5 is 60. Minus 32. Now, you're going to be getting 125. Okay, this is going to be negative 25. And this is going to be 28. And the difference is going to be a 3. Yes, we got it. So our solution works, definitely. And x equals 5 is the solution. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.